All right, in a stunning, lightning-fast conclusion, Judge Miller makes his determination that Craig Wright is not the author of the Bitcoin white paper, he's not the creator of the Bitcoin system, and he is not Satoshi Nakamoto. But is this really the end of it? Is it all over? Stay tuned to the end, and we'll break this thing down. This is Gavin Mail. Yeah, so after weeks of testimony from the you know, overall high stakes industry, the, the trillion dollar giant industry coming in to, to be a part of this trial, the uh, Honorable Justice Miller lays down his ruling. And I want to first start out to state that I totally and 100% respect the court's ruling. It is, I respect it, 100%. It, and I give massive kudos and, and shout out to the Bitcoin core developers and to the COPA side for uh, the victory in the trial court. You know, it's hats off. It is a, uh, it's been a heck of a run. However, we must recognize that the fight is far from over. You know, that's just a matter of something we can agree to disagree on. But it's time to, that we come together with good sportsmanship and handshakes from across the miles from all parties and all sides, whatever side that you're on. And agree to disagree on certain issues. But the bottom line is this, this ruling is going to, is what it is. And the, and the future is incredibly bright with what we have to come. So let's break this down. We got, so, uh, Lord Gravenu came in with a concession, with a concession speech on case law on what, if the jo judge, Justice Miller grants the judgment in favor of uh, COPA, and makes this determination, then Lord, Lord Gravenu went into a concession speech with about, uh, he went into extensive case law of why the court should not grant equitable and injunctive relief on top of that, uh, you know, to stop Craig Wright from going after other actions and other jurisdictions. And he cited some pretty strong case authority uh, to back that up. Now, uh, if, we, if, we go, uh, if we go back just a couple weeks in what I was talking about in these videos is you'll remember that I always said that Craig Wright was gonna lose at trial. Now again, I, I, I contended that Craig Wright was uh, ahead, he was ahead, ahead, I will say that. And perhaps I was wrong. I, I'm happy to, uh, to say that, it, that I could have interpreted things wrong. I'll be the first one to say that. But I will always say, stick to the fact that I do believe that Craig was gonna lose at trial but there was going to be something else that would happen. He would win in the, he would win in the appellate court. Now, that's still going to be my contention. We don't even know if he's going to appeal. I don't know. We'll see. But it's still my contention that that's what's going to happen. I believe that the, uh, it's clear now in the ruling what Justice Miller did is he relied on the Madden report. And, you know, a couple weeks back, we talked about how if that Madden report gets in, if it's relied on, there's no rebuttal evidence by Craig Wright strong enough to rebut that Madden report. He had his expert witnesses were weak uh, on the on the rebuttal evidence, and with it, it was going to stand. He was going to lose the case. Accordingly, Justice Miller said that there was mounds of evidence, and he made his determination accordingly with the Madden report, even over the objections of the uh, Craig Wright attorneys. So, that being said, uh, you know that that will have to be decided on whether or not that was an error or not, or that'll be for a, a different day in a different court. So ultimately, the court did say that it'll be. A couple, well, he didn't really say how long it's going to be until a written judgment comes out. But until a written judgment comes out, there's really nothing that can be done. Uh, that's not going to stop me from releasing the uh, Encore Jack, Lou, Jack uh, Pitts interview this weekend. And, you know, what an epic time right now. Because here we are where we got this, this massive judgment and the biggest multi-trillion dollar market cap industry thing we've ever seen before. And now here we go into this tiny little San Francisco group. You know, the unofficial, not named, okay, but the unofficial behind the scenes, real inner workings of the Satoshi team. And these guys are really just, uh, you know, in incredible guys that are really just going to be uh, coming together, bringing their heads together. And some people that are coming, like like the big, tall, giant, Jack, mighty Jack Lou is going to be the closing speaker. I can't wait to meet him in person, you know, and, uh, and get his autograph. So get a picture. Really, I, you know, anyways, it's gonna be really exciting to, to talk to people. This is all coming together. You know, I even put out a uh, word to, to Shawi Lou. We, we should get Ryan X Charles to come back and make his make his way back into the city. And I would play uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco by the great Tony Bennett, you know, if he did. So, that being said, uh, it's gonna be an epic weekend in San Francisco. According to the court's oral ruling today, Craig Wright is not Satoshi. The judge's verdict deals a big blow, but the battle is far from over.
All right, so stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll we'll go ahead and keep keep guys keep everybody posted on what's going to happen with this. And I'm looking forward to seeing people at the the big event here in San Francisco, the Fairmont tomorrow night, and the agenda. Uh, we got dinner, and then we got another dinner on Saturday, uh, planned with a big group all day Sunday again, and it's going down. It's going to be great. This is going to be history. It'll be one of those momentum monumental times in history that uh, people will look back and say, "Oh, I remember when that." that event happened in San Francisco right after the verdict came down in the right trial. It's like that, that moment in time. Couldn't be better timing. This is Gavin Mail. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Much love and congratulations and props to the COPA side and the Bitcoin core defendants, man. Hats off. I got a lot of respect for you guys and respect for the court's verdict, okay? We'll see you at the top.